Hey, I'm Allie from Little Hill Homestead. Today I wanted to show you a quick way um, to do a long-term storage or to preserve things like rice and flour, wheat berries, oats, things that get bugs in them. Um, a lot of people complain because they get weevils in their rice if you don't go through it quickly enough. And so when that happens, you have to trash it and start fresh. We've been using this method for like six years and we've never had an issue. Hopefully I did not jinx myself. But I have a five gallon bucket, it's a food grade bucket. I think we got this one at Home Depot in the paint department. I wanted white because we store them underneath this table um, in our kitchen. Uh, we have these ones too that are all small ones and some of those have the same thing. I have a gamma lid on here. I get my gamma lid, the tractor supply, because again, I want white. You can get them Azure in some different places. They're red usually, I want white. But a gamma lid is an airtight lid that um, this ring pops onto any five gallon bucket and it, you just twist it as needed. So, the trick for today is bay leaves. Bay leaves, just regular old bay leaves. Bugs hate the smell of these. Um, so we are gonna distribute them evenly through our rice, flour, wheat berries, oats, any of that stuff, and it keeps you from getting bugs. So this one I got at um, Sam's Club. We buy them in bulk because we go through so many of them. I think this was like six bucks. And then I went to the Asian market not too long ago. They had this for like $1.25. Um, and then the other thing is we actually bought a Laurel Bay um, in California. It's called Armstrong's out here. It's called Pike's. It's like a nursery. We got that and we dehydrate the leaves. So now we have a sustainable source. I don't have to keep buying them because I've invested in the tree. Well, let me show you how we use them. Oh, by the way, there's some at the bottom of here already because they keep the smell long term and so you can reuse them over and over and over. So I leave some at the bottom. What I'm going to do, we just have 25 pounds of just rice. What I'm basically going to do it in thirds or fourths. So I've poured my bucket to about here. You can kind of see it. I'm gonna take maybe five or six bay leaves and kind of sprinkle them. Don't break them up. You wanna leave them in their hole. So there's our first one. I'm gonna do this in three layers. Ooh, that was way too many, but that's okay. Like I said, you can use them over and over. So 25 pounds of rice fills one of these lids um, containers pretty close to the top. And then I'm going to do again, just a couple more bay leaves on top. We bought some scoops of the Dollar Tree we keep in here, or usually I just keep them on top because I don't want the handle stored in here. But put your gamma lid on, and then I just tuck these right underneath my table right here. I keep sugar and I keep rice and they are dog proof thank goodness and airtight I've never had a problem with any kind of critters bugs weevils moths um, I know you can get moths in oats never had a problem with any of that and we keep quite a bit of oats in these containers these containers are awesome we got them at Sam's Club and they hold five pounds of oats in each one we keep dried black beans down here we have semolina flour we have bread flour We've got quinoa down there. I don't even know. We've got a bunch of stuff. But um, we use the same method for everything that we preserve long term. So go out and get yourself some bay leaves. And like if you're in a place, say California, that has earthquakes or here we have tornadoes, it's always good to have a little bit of food stored up. And rice is an easy one because it's really inexpensive. And if you have some bay leaves, you're good to go. You can do the same thing, by the way, in Ziploc bags if you do not have a bucket. That's it. Super easy, super cheap, and for us, it has been a lifesaver because we have yet to have any issues um, with our long-term storage. But I am getting ready to show you guys a long-term storage video as well. Um, well, we have a working pantry, we call it. So I have this area, I have another area in um, our converted garage, and then I'll walk you guys kind of through our spice rack and different stuff, how we store food, our canned goods. I'll show you kind of, anyways, rant as usual. But uh, Bailey's, they're a lifesaver. Go get some and uh, stock up on just a little bit of food for your family.